To fill your Pro Press with water, undo the filler cap. Then, if using the Pro 290, measure 2 litres, and for the Pro 580, 4 litres of hot or cold tap water and pour in using the funnel provided. When the boiler is full, you will see the red max indicator in the sight glass. Be careful not to overfill. If the float is touching the sight glass, it is too full. Empty the excess water. Replace filler cap. Next, plug in and turn on your Pro Press. If using the Pro 290, push the on off switch down and it will illuminate. If using the Pro 580, after pushing the on off switch down, you will need to rotate the energy regulator to the steam position until it clicks. The steam indicator light will illuminate. It takes between 5 and 10 minutes for the steam to appear from the nozzle depending on the temperature of the water. You are now ready to use the steamer. If using the Pro 580 intermittently, you can put the steamer into the standby mode. This will keep the water hot and will regenerate steam in a few seconds when turned back to the steam setting. When the steamer is empty, a buzzer will sound and the red refill light will illuminate. For the Pro 290, the refill light is clear. Switch the steamer off. Disconnect the power and wait for the steamer to cool. Once cool, refill following the instructions. If steam or water is coming out of the safety cap, the steamer is either too full, needs rinsing out, or the hose is kinked, preventing the steam going to the nozzle. Straighten the hose. If using a drapery hose or working at low levels, Condensation can form in the hose. It will be necessary to periodically lift the hose up so it can run back into the steamer. You are now ready to use the steamer.